What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Kelly Travel Spiritually, and on this channel, I help people awaken to the awareness around them. With everything that's going on out here in the world, and the depression, depression, anxiety rates starting to skyrocket, I decided to go ahead and make a video for you guys and give you ten things you can do on you can do to help you heal your anxiety and depression. I once suffered for, from anxiety and depression myself. And when I awakened, I began, in the process of awakening, I began to do things to make me feel better, to make me heal that anxiety and depression. And how to, I began working on how to overcome it, how to beat it. So I want to make this video for you guys and give you 10 things you can do for yourself to help you heal and overcome anxiety and depression. Number one, raise your vibration. I mean, you can't go wrong with raising your vibration because a lot of where you're experiencing anxiety and depression could come from fear, guilt, shame, feeling uh, not worthy, feeling like you don't belong here, feeling like you have no purpose in your life, whatever it may be, raising your vibration will truly help you with healing these things because like, well, my number two is bringing it to your awareness. You'll be able to become more aware of everything that is happening in your life and understanding it and bringing it to the light so that you know what is causing you to feel these things so that you can actually work on them. Because when you are unaware, you're just, you know, on autopilot and you're just reacting to everything and you're not actually putting in work to heal it. You're just reacting to it when it's just making it worse. So bringing it to your awareness, bringing it to the light so that you can heal it and being aware of what causes you to feel this way. So be real with yourself and see what is causing your anxiety and depression so that you could go ahead and heal, the, heal this and overcome it. Number three, journal and write it down. I thought this was something that did, wouldn't work because I didn't understand why journaling or writing to myself would help me. Well, the more I would like journal down how I felt for that day, whether it was happy, sad, angry, mad, or whatever I was experiencing, whatever caused my anxiety, journaling really helped me. It would get it off my mind, you know, get it off my conscious to where... I wrote it down in that spiral and I no longer felt what I felt before prior to writing it down in that spiral. You know, it really let go of a lot and, you know, that helped me to move on. So whenever you're feeling a lot of depression and you're feeling a lot of anxiety, begin writing it down and see why you feel this way, what is causing you to feel this way and just let it go all on that paper. You know, another thing with, with the part when I was talking about awareness, like with pain, Pain being an illusion, right? I realized that pain was something that was causing me to have anxiety. So if you're someone who experiences pain, understand that pain is an illusion. So when I would feel the pain in my body, I would say pain is an, is an illusion. Pain is an illusion. No lie until the pain would literally disappear. And it really helped. And it also helped ease that part of my anxiety that I was having so much of because of the pain in the body. So, yeah. Becoming, putting things into the awareness, putting things to the light, journaling, raising your vibration. These these are the first three things that really, these things will help you out with healing, depression, and anxiety. And then number four, breath work. Practice, practice breath work. Breathing. It may sound crazy to you, but breathing really heals your life. It'll connect you to your inner world and help you calm down along with listening to hurts. Um, music, meditation types of music, these things will help you connect in your inner world and help you soothe and relax and calm down from, from your anxiety and depression and things that are overwhelming you, you know. Uh, this will help you calm down in that moment of what you're experiencing. So try doing that. This this will really help you out. Um, number five, understand the trust. Trust your process. Trust the universe, you know, and understand that everything that is happening is happening in divine timing. So whatever your soul signed up for to experience here on earth, you're experiencing it in your journey. And this is what's supposed to happen in your life. And that you have the power within you to heal anything that you experience in your life. You can overcome these things. So trust the process and understand that everything is happening for you. It's not happening to you. It is happening for you. And once you become aware of that, this will help you in lots of areas of your life, you know. Number six, exercise. Get the body moving around, getting rid of the stagnant energies, the negative energies, the crazy thoughts, the sadness, the emotion, all these things. Moving around, take walks, connecting out in nature. Uh, go for a jog, you know, these things lighten up your load on your body and help you to 
whatever you're say say you're facing so much heavy depression that day and anxiety that day going for an exercise will help like release some of that that some of that stuff off of you you know more than more than you know it really will help you release some of these things so exercise is a very important thing that you can do in your life to help to help you relax and um calm down a little bit you know and then uh number seven the foods that you eat be mindful of what you put into your body uh for a lot of things have chemicals and toxins in them and a lot of these things make you feel bad you know if you eat something and you notice you feel bad or you start to feel sad or maybe even anger or comfortable in your body don't eat that type of food anymore be mindful what you put into your body drinks whatever it is you put in your body be mindful of it and see how you feel when you're putting these things into your body because this could be causing anxiety. This could be causing uh, depression. This could be causing you to feel what you are feeling. So be mindful of what you're putting into your body because it really can cause these things. So be aware of that. And number eight, don't react to your thoughts. You're not your thoughts. You know, I notice like with me, my thoughts will tell me that I wasn't worthy and that I'll never be where I wanted to be. Uh, from all the pain that I was uh, had going on in my body from my pinched nerve and things it's like it told me I was going to be stuck in this this state of being forever that I would never have a life that I always thought and dreamed I would have and all these things and I would just like react to it and react to it and the more I react to it I, to my thoughts I felt more and more down more and more depressed to where I've made it to a point where I never even I didn't want to live anymore you know I wasn't going to kill myself, but I asked God to take me. It's just, it gets that tough. So I do totally understand depression and anxiety and the levels of it and how deep, deep, dark down a hole you can end up in. And a lot of it had to do with my thoughts and me feeding them thinking that it was me. You know, I wasn't aware that I am not my thoughts and that the thoughts that were coming to me was not me you know and but i thought that it was me so i was just feeding them and reacting to them and putting myself in a dark place so understand that you are not your thoughts don't react to your thoughts you know um what i did start doing was when my thoughts would say you're not worthy i didn't like try to erase those thoughts i just replaced it with i am worthy you know i began using i am affirmations and reversing whatever the thought was telling me i reversed it with positive because most of the time the thought was negative i would re reverse that with a positive saying and you know and i also reversed the sadness the frowning with the smile and, you know it really helped me understand it and grow and uh get past that so that really that really does help you know it's just these things you maybe never thought of that can help you that really can help you with healing your anxiety and depression i mean you really really can heal your own life like i say you have the power within you to heal any part of your life you know and that everything that's happening in divine time and in your life so you're not you didn't come here to stay stuck there you know pull yourself out of it and move on and heal your life you know Number uh, nine would be to let go. Don't be a, don't get attached to people, places, and things. And understand that everything that doesn't serve you, you should let go of it so you can make room for what inspires you. You understand? Like, don't hold on to people. Let's just say people. Don't hold on to people that make you feel anxiety, that make you feel depressed, that hurt you, that bring you down, that make you feel bad. Don't get attached to those people. Don't get attached to places that make you feel that way and don't get attached to the life that you are living if you are uncomfortable and you know you want more and you know there's much more in life and you know you deserve more don't get attached to that don't get stuck to that because everything is always changing in our lives you know and we can't get comfortable because we're never supposed to get comfortable we always need to open up to change and understand that everything will change in time. You will not stay there as long as you put in the work to help change your life. So whatever you need to work on, work on changing. Don't get attached to things. Let go of things that don't serve you. And there, and make once you let go of things that don't serve you, you'll begin making room for stuff that inspires you and that helps you along your way and that's supposed to be with you. And number uh, 10, I would say, is basically stay off the news, stay off social media, focus on you, you know, social media carries very heavy energy that brings you down, that helps you, it has your thoughts start making you, like, basically compare yourself to others who are in a different, you know, journey in their life, we're all on different journeys in our lives, so 
just because someone else is younger than you and they're somewhere further than you doesn't mean they're better than you, you know? Nobody's better than anyone. We're all having a human experience and we're all on different levels. But your thoughts will start telling you some crazy shit and making you feel that you're not worthy and all these other things. Well, it's the energy that carries on social media and so much other things that is on there that makes you start to feel down and depressed. So give yourself a break from that and just start seeing how you feel. You'll begin noticing how you feel better and help focus on yourself. You know, stay off the news, which is promoting fear and which is wanting you to feel down. Stay away from these things and just focus more on yourself, which will help you heal your life. Um, these things are things that I actually did that helped me heal my anxiety and depression. It does take time. Everything that we do, especially with having a spiritual awakening, anything in life is going to take patience. You have to be understanding of patience and be patient through everything. Nothing just is going to happen overnight. You know, it doesn't work like that. It takes time because you are now becoming aware of what is causing you to feel this anxiety and depression. So now you're going to begin taking action on it so that you can hear your life because the power has always been with you within you all along to do this so you can do this so don't allow these things to keep you down in a low vibrating state and to keep you down in this dark hole and of depression and anxiety go ahead and pull yourself out of it and hear your life today because you have the power to do that and i wanted to share this with you guys because like i said i know it's getting real out there out here in this world and a lot of people are experiencing anxiety and depression the rates are going up so here's things here's 10 things that you can do to help heal your anxiety and depression i love you you guys if you have not liked my video go ahead and press that like button and press the subscribe button and come back to see me for i am making my videos going with the flow i love you guys keep taking care of yourself miss kelly travel spirits is checking out